Israel has suspended payments to the Palestinian National Authority until they receive assurances that the money will not end up in the hands of Hamas. The payment amounts to some 300 million shekels, or about 88 million U.S. dollars in taxes and custom fees. Fintan Mohanan takes a look. Israeli Finance Minister Yuval Steinet says he has suspended a routine handover of customs payments and other levies that Israel collects under interim peace deals. Steinet also says he has postponed a meeting with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. The meeting was aimed at updating the tax transfer mechanism which provides the PNA with over one billion US dollars annually, about two-thirds of its budget. I postponed some talks I think it's the burden of proof is on the Palestinians to make it uh, certain, to give us guarantees that uh, money delivered by Israel is not going uh, to the Hamas, is not going to terrorist uh, organization, is not going to finance terrorist operations against Israeli citizens. Steinitz's decision to sanction the Palestinian National Authority comes in the wake of last week's agreement by Fatah and Hamas to set up a national unity government prior to elections. The recent agreement between Hamas, which calls for Israel's destruction, and the Fatah movement should worry not only all Israelis, but all those throughout the world who aspire to see peace between us and our Palestinian neighbors. The Palestinian leadership has slammed Israel's decision to halt the tax transfers, saying the Israeli decision will not deter moves towards peace and reconciliation between Hamas and Fatah. Vincent Monaghan, CCTV.